Recording in progress. Got it. That's great. Well, I think it's time to start. I'll do an Yay. introduction in Dutch first and then in English, because I see there are some people speaking English, maybe. Um, so first I'll uh, turn away the recording message. So, well, leuk dat jullie allemaal kijken naar de webinar van Teletools met Jessica Duke. Zij is een foodfotograaf en ze woont in Wateringen in, uh, vlakbij Den Haag. En zij gaat jullie vandaag van alles vertellen over foodfotografie en haar workflow. Yes. Uh, mijn naam is Annewiek Doorhoff. Ik ben van Teletools NL, de distributeur. Ik verspreid de Teletools um, kabels naar alle dealers. Heb je vragen? Stel ze in de chat. Um, heb je vragen over welke kabel je nodig hebt? Uh, laat het me dan even weten of ga naar je verkooppunt. Um, Hello, welcome to this webinar. Uh, our host today is Jessica Duke. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Annawick. Hello. Thanks Thank for so having me here. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, you're going to tell something about uh, food photography and your workflow with Tether Tools. Yes, yeah, sure. So, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll turn off my screen and my audio and the floor is yours. Thank you, Thank Jessica. You. Hi everyone. Okay, um, I'm Jessica Duque. I'm from Venezuela and I live in the Netherlands since 2008. I'm a food photographer since 2016 and I'm going to show you today how to improve your workflow as a food photographer by shooting better. Okay, as I said a few minutes ago, I'm going to show you today how to improve your uh, workflow as a food photographer by shooting better. Let's begin. Okay, a little bit uh, of myself. You can read it here, but uh, as I mentioned, I come from Venezuela. Uh, I'm a food photographer since 2016. I got a, I, I got the chance to, to find my niche uh, thanks to my former uh, manager uh, while I was working for a fast food company. Um, yeah, fast food delivery company. And then uh, we were running out of uh, food photographers. And then he said, okay, Jessica, I know you're a foodie grab the camera at the office and go to some restaurants in Amsterdam. And here is the brief. I know you can make it. <laughs> and this is how I end up here after going uh, to different courses and uh, discovering that this was my passion. In 2018, I decided to go as an independent. And here I am since, since 2016. I'm a food photographer and food stylist. OK. Um, I don't know if uh, many of you have experience uh, shooting tether, but uh, for those who doesn't know, basically this is uh, what is this webinar is about. I receive many questions every day on my Instagram, on my private messages. Okay, uh, what is the cable? How do you uh, see the images on your screen? And uh, well, this is basically shooting tether. So it's basically taking your camera, grabbing a cable, the appropriate one, and connect it to your computer with a software that allows you to uh, visualize what is happening. So in a few words, this is what is telling. The benefits, well, I can say since I discovered shooting tether can help you a lot in uh, saving time, especially that because it's uh, time is money and uh, preventing reshootings because I really hate reshootings and correct things, you know, in real time. And many other benefits that I will explain you during this presentation. But basically you can preview uh, the work you're doing in real time and doing the modifications to get the perfect shot. One of the things that I really love about shooting Tether is capturing multiple shots and then combine them uh, in Photoshop or Lightroom. For example, I have this uh, levitation image uh, that it started not with these three images. I just uh, wanted to resume it to these three, but I made like around five of the uh, five different shots, like one of the calm uh, scenario and then one just with cookies and then with the crumbs. And in the end with Photoshop, you can uh, construct that image that you really, really like and you can make the adjustments, the necessary adjustments. Another shot, for example, that you can uh, do shooting tether is this 
splashes that can be really unpredictable. And uh, I started with this one with the, this is like my key image. And then I started, I started like shooting, uh, throwing the ice cubes and trying to get that perfect uh, splash. But as I said, they are unpredictable. So you can combine them later. So here it is my, my set. And I was basically with one hand throwing the ice cube and with the other one, I had my remote. The same here. So I recreate this uh, specific image for a client. And uh, I'll tell you a funny story later about this. So it was like a levitation, um, you know, oranges because it's a cocoa ritual with rum. And I basically started like this. I position all my orange uh, pieces in the way I want them. And then I started to shoot uh, different uh, scenarios or different splashes of cacao, <laughs> I can say that. And uh, in the end, uh, when I thought this was the final image, the client called and said, Ah, oh, we forgot to tell you that we need to include the, the bottle as well. So is it possible? We know that you have to reshoot all over again. Like, no, it, of course, there's not a problem. I mean, there, we can fix it. And that is one of the advantages of a shooting feather, that you can basically position the things in the same way they were. They were. So I just made this single photo. And with the magic of Photoshop, I just place it here. And voila we have the final image. Another advantage of uh, shooting feather is the freedom to modify your scene as you like. For example, I have here a real photo shoot with a client. Those are uh, Brazilian snacks. And she wanted to place them in the way she feel they are right. So she helped herself like seeing everything on screen and it was wonderful. Especially when you are a solo player like me, <laughs> not always you have the chance to, to hire a food photographer or a food stylist. So shooting tether comes in handy. And I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry. Let me go back here. I'm sorry for the mistake. Okay, uh, I was working at the same time I was babysitting my baby and then, okay, I needed to make the, per the perfect pour of this image. So here is the set and here is the, here's my little system. So I was using my remote and I was visualizing everything on screen and my baby was there. So I was able to manage the whole situation. You can also show a variety in your storytelling. And how is that? I started, for example, with this uh, single image. This is, uh, these are some strawberries that you bake and you add some you know, fresh uh, herbs and and then I thought, okay, maybe I can do the toast. And after that, when, I, when I'm done, because they were all uh, overhead, I changed the whole scenario and I decided to recreate these two. And in the end, I made three. And uh, this is something that can tell you a story. So how it started and how it ends. The same here for this brand of uh, sake. So uh, it's the same scenario, basically the same uh, consistency. The only thing that changed here is the macaroons. Here is just the product. And here we added some sushi. Same here. So we started with the overripe figs here and a little, um, you know, a pouring of honey here and another scene of a overhead shot. Working uh, or shooting tether, uh, okay, let's you uh, allow you to work 
inside the frame. How is that? For example, if you work for a production of a magazine or whatever, uh, you have a template and uh, you have some directions like, okay, the photo needs to be in, but keep in mind that you have some titles and some, uh, some graphics. So you need to keep that in consideration in order to make the photo, to produce the photo and to create some balance. And this is how, what I did here. This is like a, a mock-up of a magazine cover. Okay. You can perform tests for your clients. And this is the way I secure my clients. From my experience, after I have the conversation and the first email with the client, like, okay, Jessica, we would like to work with you. And I ask my clients, could you please make me uh, a mood board? Well, I ask, in fact, two mood boards. One with the things that you really like for your brand as an inspiration, and the other one would things that you really, really hate. So I know the limit. Uh, okay, if they say, yeah, you can be free, but I, I know my limit. So uh, I, I know where to go. And when I have all the discussion done with the client, I invite them to my studio and uh, we perform uh, some, shot, uh, some test shots. And this is the way that they don't expect to, I mean, they never expect to, wow, okay, this is the way you work. And they are impressed just by seeing the, the whole dynamic that you uh, recreate the scenario. And like you described first on, on your, on your uh, email, like, okay. And when they see it for real, they say, okay, I want to sign up the contract and I want to come to work with you next week if it is possible. So, for example, this is uh, one of the recent clients I've, uh, I've been working with is uh, a brand of uh, Brazilian snacks. I made, I perform a, a test with the colors and the elements and some props I already selected uh, for them. And these are not the real, I mean, these are like bitter bolens or something like that. But I wanted to give them the impression how it would look because it was for a packaging. And in the end, we, produ we produced uh, six different images for the packaging, six others for uh, the website, and three extras. And everything happened in the time I predicted. So I said, this photo shoot, it will, ta it will take uh, four hours. And we managed to make it in four hours with the right production and everything and having in advance, uh, the test done. So when I made the test, I'm, I'm, I make sure that I take some notes. Uh, you know, how was the, the light I used, the settings for my camera, and it's faster when you have to produce the photo shoot. If you have any questions, we can wait for, uh, until the end. But if you have technical questions, we have Anna Week and uh, Jessica. Uh, also here, I have another client that he wanted to, during the lockdown, he wanted to uh, produce uh, some images. How is the feeling uh, at the restaurant? And how is the feeling when you take the product home? I mean, take away. So he asked me to recreate the atmosphere of the place with some uh, lights. It, it was painful for time. And he said that people need to feel that they are drinking their coffee or their chocolate in a cafe, but at home. So basically the same scenario, you know, is consistent except for the ingredients that are uh, characteristic of uh, each drink. Shooting teller also give you the freedom to compose. This is one of my uh, favorite images. And uh, this is how it started. I mean, started with a crazy idea that it was like in my head for a year and I made it possible. So I started like selecting, uh, you know, the right props because I have this idea of a fancy, how can you elevate sardines, something that is so humble and delicious? How can you make it look like chef table kind of uh, look like? And then I got this fancy plate with a beautiful texture and I went to the supermarket to find uh, from different brands uh, the right uh, sardine can that I really wanted. And the rest was like 
production. I took my system, I grabbed some wires and I tried to place the sardines in the way I want them. Like they were like dancing, jumping out of the can. And the rest was like throwing splashes. I think I took around 10 pictures of 10 different splashes to combine them later in Photoshop. In Photoshop. So here is the result of the image. This is one of the, of the things that I, uh, I really appreciate of working Tether. Like you can see in detail what is happening because you cannot trust your little LCD screen on your camera when you think it's sharp and when you come home, the reality is different. So I prefer to be safe and sorry. And especially when I go to restaurants and make photos, I don't wanna come back. I just want to finish my job take the perfect shot and that's it. I don't want to take 50 images of one dish. I just want to make one or two max that I know they are the right ones. So it's really valuable having that opportunity to see your images right away. Also when you are working remotely, this is the, the specific uh, scenario I was talking about. I fixed the, the problem in 30 minutes. So this is one of the advantages. So I thought this is over. I mean, this is what the client wanted, but then he came with some last minute corrections and I was able to manage making just one image and adding it to the composition with a positive solution. So I love it. Okay, Jessica, what do I need to start shooting Tether? I'm going to show you what I have and how I have been achieving all these images and many other images with the things that I have. Essentially, you need your camera, a USB cable, and your computer with a computer uh, software that allows you to shoot in Tether. This is a cable I use, but I'm sure if you have any doubts, Tether Tools, Camera New, or Anewit can help you to find out what is the right cable for your specific camera. So this is the one I use that allows me to connect my camera to my, right now I have a Mac mini before I used to uh, shoot with my uh, laptop. But, I, when I, when, but when I go to restaurants, I take my laptop. So it works perfectly. Security is essential for me and I learned it the hard way. <laughs> and I'll show you how and why. So this tether block is amazing. You can connect your cable under so and you can secure it, protect your, you know, your security, your data port from any damage. In this case, I will show you what happened with the old camera before shooting with tether products. And uh, <laughs> so you can connect any, any tripod because uh, it has so many holes that any tripod base fits perfectly. So this is it. And you have uh, different holes and you can use uh, thick or thinner or medium cables. You can put them under your camera and still use your tripod base and everything works perfect. An extra is the jerk stopper that will prevent uh, your cable to, you know, jump or break, you know, uh, in combination with the tether block. These two are essentials. And not so long ago, <laughs> mistake happened to me. So I was uh, shooting uh, before with the cable that came with my uh, 5D Mark III, so this cable. And many times I trip over my cable and the result was uh, this. I compromised my uh, port. And every time I wanted to connect something, I needed to you know, be careful because it easily comes off. So this is one of the disadvantages if you don't use uh, the right products. And also I had, <laughs> And you see that with my lens because I, I tripped over my, my cable, the cable came out of the camera, the camera fell and it was a, a, horrible, a horrible thing. But thank God I had the, 
the UV protects her here and you, anything happened to the lens. So thanks that I had that. Okay, the essentials. Uh, we have also tethering software. You will need a tethering software. Before I used to uh, shoot with the, uh, the EOS utility from Canon because it was free. And then all those images were directly to uh, Lightroom for post-production. But then there is another thing in the middle. And um, since last year, I think I started to use uh, Lightroom for tethering capture because they had the, the facility for Canon. So I really like it. I haven't used uh, any other software. And I know the smart shooter is, is now available. It's, the, it's from Tether Tools is available for all other brands. And you have a three month trial if you wanna give it a chance. Let's level up. Those were my basic stuff. Uh, I started just with that. And uh, little by little, you want more stuff. And these are super essential, I think. <laughs> Not essential, but they, they are really incredible. So you have this uh, aero table, table aero. You have it in two presentations. So you have it for your uh, laptop or for your uh, computer or screen. And you can take them you know, in your studio. And I like to take this one to, uh, to a restaurant or a uh, any other photo shoot that I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a space for, for my laptop to be you know, secure. And I love this one. And the facility in, and the combination with this uh, tripod roller, just to move your uh, things around. It is gorgeous. It's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I love it. I have one for, the, for my tripod where I have my camera so I can move also my camera and also you can move your your computer. And another essential, oh, here, I need to move people, yes. Another essential is the on-site battery pack because you never know if you are with a client and it takes more time so you can uh, be sure that your camera or, or your computer is going to be charged. So you have the possibility to do this and it is amazing. Okay, show me the money because uh, we are here to see, okay, how can I uh, do all these uh, photos and uh, how do I do that? I'm going to show you how I should pair up with Adobe Lightroom. Okay, first you need to make sure that you have uh, your camera connected to your computer and then you open your other light from in this case. I prefer to select a new catalog and I will name it here test. And the, my preferred location is uh, the desktop because I know I can move it after and I, I can place it wherever I want. After that, you have a, a function that is in file. You select the capture and also you can name your uh, session as you like and you can select the location where you want to uh, place all those photos you're going to make. Once you are uh, in there, have fun, play around. So if you have your idea in mind, you have the chance to visualize them. You have two screens, you have the live uh, view mode, and you have the uh, the other screen where you can make your corrections and you can uh, adjust, make adjustments immediately. So you can develop your, your photos. So you have here uh, where you're shooting, you have this remote, we can call it like that. And you can modify your shooter, your aperture, your ISO, and you can also add some uh, little adjustments if you want to you know, have some control about the lights, or if you want to develop, uh, develop some settings, like if you want things more sharp, you can also do that here. And you can visualize all the pictures you take down here, sorry. 
I love working with the, this before and after because then I have a better control of uh, what I'm doing if the, the adjustments I'm doing to the photos are correct. And the rest is export the file and place them wherever you want. The end. I made this uh, simple example just to show you in five little steps how can you shoot better. Oh, sorry. Okay. So it is time for the Q and A. If we have some questions Hello, about, can you, can you hear me already, Jessica? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, I don't see any questions in the chat, but I have a few questions for you. Okay. When did you start it with food photography? When? 2016. I I was working for um, a company here, Taos Resort in Amsterdam. And, yeah, that's for sure. I was working <laughs> at the office <laughs> and I was a, a visual designer and my boss asked me because we had a campaign against Fudora and Deliveroo and Uber Eats. And then he said, Jessica, we are running out of food photographers. So they were hiring freelancers. And he said, can you please grab the camera of the office and, and go and make some pictures to this and that restaurant? And and then I thought, yeah, okay, I can do it. But I didn't know how to use a camera more than, you know, auto mode. And I was reading on the, you know, the, the script, what am I supposed to do? And they were all uh, overlay, uh, the overhead shots, sorry. Mm -hmm. And it was all intuitive. So I, I prepared my, my, my set and I asked for some uh, fresh ingredients and, and, and that was it. So I, it was basically all intuitive. And I, I thought maybe there is a course for this because this is really cool. And mostly I like the idea of being in and out. I didn't want to spend my whole time, you know, like eight hours sitting behind a desk. It, ah. it was really dynamic. I love the, you know, meeting the new places and also the, the reward, the, the restaurant owners, they were so happy about the pictures. Like, okay, please take the food home. <laughs> <laughs> One of the advantages. Yeah, I always get very hungry uh, when I see your pictures. <laughs> My God. <laughs> and is it real food you're using? Yeah, mostly. Mostly, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but when you have to, uh, for example, for the Brazilian snacks, we use real food, but it had some, you know, makeup to make it look uh, beautiful. <laughs> Not glue, but glycerin and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. So sometimes you, you want to enhance the food and I have done that uh, a lot and fake ice cream and uh, do makeup for a sushi. So Great. Really well, cool. we all it. know the, the McDonald's advertisements and when you're out with McDonald's, their hamburgers are not like they advertised. <laughs> no, but now it's changing because if you yeah. see the new ads, I don't know if it is only here in the Netherlands, but the, the burger is like more real. It, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. still plastic, but it looks more real. It doesn't look too perfect. Great. Great. So Another question. Changing. Yes. Another question. Do you have an assistant? Sometimes. I have a, a girl. Her name is Astrid. She's uh, my friend, my babysitter, my left ah. and right hand, my model hand. And, and when I need her for a special project, uh, I, will, I will always uh, I always hire her. I Great. can count on her. Yes. It's good to have friends. Um, yes. Another question. Um, yes. How do you find your clients or do they find you or how does it work with food photography? Well, I think uh, before, okay, you have the Instagram that is helping a lot when you are, because this is basically a little portfolio. It's not everything you do. I don't post everything I do there. And also, yeah, your website, Google and the word to mouth. So if, if, if someone recommends you, if you do a great job and, you know, that person is always going to recommend you. And that is the, the, the best way to find clients. Yeah, so I, I agree. When yeah. you do a, a good job and when they see your passion, like, for example, with this client of the Brazilian snacks, she worked with other photographers in the past. I know them. They are really good photographers. 
but she was saying like the experience with you is different. I mean, you prepare like different, you know, the, after the brief, you prepare like three different backdrops and then you prepare the, the, the props and different scenarios. And then you say, okay, this kind of scenario can be for social and this can be for the packaging. And, and she was uh, impressed to see the whole thing on her screen. And she said, oh my God, I want the picture. I want the picture for my packaging and for my product. So wow. it's really rewarding. And, and that's the way how you earn clients. They talk about your work to other people. That's great. And do you have a big studio? Well, it's not a big studio, it's my attic. And um, <laughs> I would like to show you how it is, but the thing is I have the camera connected yeah. there, but I have a, an extra room I fixed last week because I show it to my, to my, you know, I show it on Instagram how it was. It was like the, the Monica Geller's green door, you know, that everything on friends that she has like a big yeah. mess inside yeah. there. <laughs> everything looks, you know, <laughs> neat and, and, and clean here but when you go there it, it was a, like a nightmare so last last week or two weeks ago i decided no i'm going to fix this because i'm not like this <laughs> and yeah mm -hmm. i want to show it later so i categorize all my props glassware colors napkins mm -hmm. everything Great. i love and, working yeah. and what lights are you using is it only natural light continuous light flash i'm curious I I use a little bit of everything. So before, <laughs> before uh, it was only daylight yeah. because I, I, one of my courses, uh, I learned how to interpret the, the daylight. So mm -hmm. I, I was like uh, checking, for example, at 11 o'clock, how, what kind of light is this thing at three o'clock and taking notes and, and making some uh, tests. Okay, how this golden hour, this morning light. So yeah. I was practicing, practicing, practicing. I really love the daylight, but then we have winter here and yeah. uh, we have the autumn and we don't have that. And I cannot make my pictures in just one, you know, certain time because I'm not gonna make it. And then I went to another course and uh, he, that this teacher taught me how to use the flashes and the continuous light. But I'm a big fan of using one flash and uh, daylight or continuous light and one flash. Great. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, how do you get IDs? Or do you only do uh, work for clients? What, what is no. you? How, how, <laughs> no. do you, how do you thought of the fishes? Well, the thing is, uh, there was a challenge last year. Uh, it was called... Uh, only one fish from one of the Dutch, one Dutch photographer here. Ah, I yeah. wanted to part, yeah, I wanted to participate. And I had this, I, I saw many beautiful pictures, but I said, no, I wanted to do something else because I am not, I cannot stay quiet. And uh, I, it was in my head. That picture came from a slogan of a famous brand in my country. It was uh, like, so fresh in the can, like in the water, something like that. He said it was yeah. the translation. And it was for a tuna brand. And then I said, mm, I thought <laughs> maybe I should make them like jumping out of the can and you know, the, the splash of water like a sardines party. And and my husband was looking at me like Are you crazy. Like he 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 never say things to uh you know. He, he lets me, you know, go through my ideas and to explore because uh, he knows when I go with something crazy, normally something good. So wow. I decided to go for it. So I yeah. So those sardines and I wired them like literally. <laughs> I hate fish, so I cannot imagine. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it was a it was a fun experience, and and the yeah. picture is really special. I mean, it made me, uh, you know, people know me about because of that picture, basically, yeah. know my work. And I mean, they know me, but not like okay when they saw that picture, like okay, let me check who's that uh, girl who made this picture. And I I have my moments. Uh, creativity, it depends. I, I take my my periods of uh, I'm quiet. And, and then I comes with ideas and I have to produce, produce, produce. And it, it is not always for clients because I believe 
that as a food photographer, you need to do things that are for yourself because right. it's more challenging. And yeah. then it, it's good because uh, they refresh your portfolio and then your clients, they want that picture. I had an, a, an experience with a restaurant. The guy said, uh, I want pictures like this. How, 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 can I, how can we make pictures like this? Like, okay, but do you need to come to my studio because I'm not going to make them at your restaurant. So, and they are, uh, they say, okay, we have to do them. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. We do have thank a little uh, discount for the viewers. So oh, if yes. you can put up that slide. Yeah, yes. We have a 10% discount at Camera Nu if you order uh, from now till July 28. And, and the discount is uh, added automatically. You don't have to do anything, no code or something. You just order from Camera Nu and you get the discount. Perfect. Yeah. And, and get yes. back slide back with your details so people can follow you. Yes, if you yeah. don't uh, follow, I'm uh, on Facebook. I'm Jessica Duke, photographer, and on Instagram, I'm Jessica Duke, photography. Yes. Well, I think that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Bedankt iedereen dat je keek. We gaan snel uh, weer een webinar doen. Nog geen idee waarover, maar dat zien we dan wel. Ik vond het heel erg leuk en leerzaam om met Jessica uh, haar werk te zien en ook hoe ze het doet. Yes, thank dus, you for uh, watching. <laughs> thank you for watching. And the other Jessica can uh, shut down now. Bye bye. Yay. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>